In this video, I'll be going over how to use a polygon reduction tool to help you start off with their LODs for games or whatnot. Uh, I have exported this character from ZBrush, and he is at 1.5 million or so polygons. Uh, make sure you select your object and that you are under the soft image layout. If you're in the face robot layout, just switch over back to soft image layout. Um, this has been in soft image for uh, quite some time. A lot of their versions already have this tool. Um, so after your model selected, go to poly mesh. Under um, pol uh, reduce polygons or something, where is that at? Polygon reduction. This tool right here. Click on it. You gotta wait for a while. It'll feel like your machine has locked up. Just be patient and wait for it. You will know that it's worked once this window pops up right here. Uh, by default, it does the uh, same polygon reduction style as most other programs do. What I have to do is the quad preservation. So you have to check this on, uh, and generally that requires uh, you to wait a little bit again because it has to recalculate your entire mesh to uh, remove just purely loops and not just triangulate or dice your mesh, so much decimation master does. And here we go. You can see that uh, there's more loops right here. I'm going to zoom up. And if I zoom all the way inside, you can tell that it's removing purely by loops. And now I can take it by ratio, vertex count, or try count. So if you're working via try count, uh, I can change the setup right here to try count and type in the exact try count I want. Um, this will allow you to basically type in the exact values wherever you need. Um, when working with LODs, I always have a certain limit to work with. For example, someone might tell me that my second level LOD has to be 8,000 tries. Uh, I can go in here, type it exactly 8,000, and of course it won't be perfect, you just have to go in and tweak it. So here I go, I'm going to change some ratio to final triangle count. And now I'm just going to, I can take this and scroll up and down, or type in the exact triangle count I want. If I type in 18,000 for example, I see you and wait again for it to uh, drop down to that polygon count. And just like that, you can see it drop down. Um, I can zoom out, you can see uh, the rest of it. Actually, the tries to move it by loop. It's not absolutely perfect. I uh, used to have some strange spikes here and there, but generally it tried its best to do this. What I do afterwards is I go to deform and uh, drop a relax on it. By default, it's going to relax it a bit higher than you probably want. Let me make sure I select that first before I apply it. So again, there it is. Relax. Take your strength down so it's not so strong anymore. Let it think a bit. It does have every single uh, the rest still in memory. So I'm gonna take this down even more. As you can tell, as I bring it back, it, it doesn't make the spikes as much. So just find a good value for yourself. Um, it seems like this works pretty decent. It's not nearly as spiky as it was before. This is as spiky as it is by default. And I have to pull it up just a little bit. It's already evened out most of my wires for me. At this point, I can take it back and fix it up and clean it up if I need to, or if I'm happy with this, I can keep with that. Um, if you are indeed a my user, etc., you can always select your mesh and export it at this point. If you're a software mod user, then you're good to go. Just go back and just clean it up. And There it is. There you have it. That is uh, the polygon reduction tool inside software mod. Um, it's just thinking right now. Again, don't worry about it. Normally, it doesn't freeze up like this. Just wait a bit. Let it load stuff through the RAM again, and you'll be okay. Just like that, we're back. Uh, remember the way it's optimized, the GigaCore giga Polygon works is they just recycle your RAM over and over. So regardless of your uh, RAM that you have on your machine, you should be okay. I've done the exact same trick on my laptop before, which is a um, single core, and only had two gigs of RAM. If I can do that on there, then I'm pretty sure you should be okay. Alright, that's it for this lesson. I hope this was useful for you.